your child, not his child, your child. It is my child, that is correct. But like I said, my job had me traveling and I really didn't have the extra money. So today we are taking a look at this mom who is adamant about not paying child support to her father-in-law who is taking care of her child and raising it full time while she prefers to pay for her condo rather than helping him raise her kid. So let's see what happens next. Okay, go ahead, what's going on? Well, uh, my son was uh, uh, married to the respondent and uh, he died. They had a three, they have a child that's now three years old that has been left in my custody. And uh, I'm asking for some sort of relief or support because I'm retired from the military and on a fixed income. Okay, first of all, my condolences for well, the loss you. of your son. I appreciate that. And thank you for your service as well. Oh, well, thank you. How long has the child lived with you? Um, two years. Two years. Has mom given you any support for the child? Uh, no, she hasn't. Uh, she hasn't bought anything. Uh, not, not significantly, no. But I haven't had, I've just now come to the point where I need some relief and I need some help. I, well, I, I agree with that. Ma'am? Well, I've been traveling. My job had me traveling a lot and I was in between jobs. I'm, I'm making 35000 now. Okay. And, you know, I'm not... Where are you traveling? Well, I'm a travel agent. Okay. So because of that, I can just travel. I get discounts and I get to fly free. So. Oh my God, that is amazing. So, but but that has nothing to do with you giving some sort of financial support. I didn't to have this, it. Excuse me, I was talking. That has nothing to do with you giving financial support to this man for the support of your child. Your child, not his child, your child. It is my child, that is correct. But like I said, my job had me traveling and I really didn't have the extra money. All right. So she did not have any extra money. So she decided that she won't pay a single cent to support her child. What kind of excuse is that? I have seen parents earn below minimum wage, but still save enough to pay for their child and help them financially, or at least try their level best because they know it's their kid, it's their offspring, and nothing is more important to them than their child because if you are not doing that then what are you doing as a parent I really didn't have the extra money what are you doing with, with yourself every day what, what do you do tell me about your traveling well well I had got this new condo for one thing and you know that wait a minute so you got a con you have you know you got a condo and you're yeah. traveling yeah. but you, how much is this condo well I'd rather not say no I'd rather you say because how much is this condo uh, it's pretty steep. It, it's pretty steep. Ma'am, what does and that mean? It, that means nothing to me. Steep. You know how many people come in here with things that are steep? I need a number. I like to live nice. And so I pay 5000 See, a month. you know what? You you obviously came here to waste my time. No, no, I didn't yes, really. You did. I didn't. And I really yes, you did. I've asked money. you a very specific question. How much is your condo? Well, I pay 5000 a month. $5,000 a month? Mm -hmm. Sir. Wait a minute. Two minutes ago, she was struggling for money and was refusing to provide financial assistance for her own child. And now, not only does she have some extra money, but she is paying for a whole condo which cost $5,000. And knowing the real estate market, it is not something you call cheap, but is it really worth it over your own kid? And also didn't she say she only makes $35,000 a year? I was in between jobs. I'm, I'm making 35000 now. So if you are making $35,000 a year, then how are you able to pay for a condo which cost $5,000 a month? Because either I am an idiot or something isn't adding up because math is not working here. It's sixty k a year for the condo alone. So what we got here is either she is lying, so she has to pay a lower child support, or she is stupid enough to pay $5,000 for a condo instead of supporting her child. Is this three-year-old in daycare? Uh, yes, he's in preschool because uh, he has some special needs. What, how much is daycare? Uh, daycare runs about 300 a week. $300 a week? Uh, he's, uh, he's autistic. Okay. Does he have to, you have to pay for like any medical expenses? Uh, he needs special counseling and of course he has regular doctor visits. Counseling. Does mom show up to any of those doctor's visits or anything? Well, no, I, of course I haven't always told her, but I... Exactly. 
<laughs> haven't haven't expected exactly her. you haven't given him any money either well uh well i'm not talking to you still and the child has been living with you for the past two years you say two years so not only am i going to make you pay child support ma'am you're going to pay back pay as well i can't uh, afford that <clears throat> so based on nine percent it'll be 262 dollars and 50 cents will that start can you give me maybe three months before that starts so i can rebudget my bills let me think about that no Thank um you. So, $262.50. I had a question. Why are you being so hard on me? Ma'am, I'm not being hard on you. You have not given this man any type of child support to I support your child. Any. And then you come to court and say you don't have money, but you travel and you have a $5,000 a month condo. But you don't give him anything a month. I, I don't have it. I just don't have well, it. Well, I can't help you. So, she is saying... She does not have any money. Let me give her an idea. How about getting rid of that $5,000 a month condo you are currently living in? I imagine that would free up some of your cash. It might sound insane to her that she has to prioritize someone else needs before hers from now on. Also, I really love the way the judge is treating her and how annoyed she is looking. Now, I don't have anything against my former daughter-in-law. I mean, she was married to my son. But uh, I, I do need a little more involvement and uh, a little help. I agree with you. It, it definitely, if she's spending five thousand dollars a month on a condo, I don't even stay in a condo. I, I need that. Okay. I have to have well, that. I need. What does she mean that she needs that and has to have that? What she really needs is to support her child and that old man as well. I don't know how a condo can be so important to her that she has forgotten her kid and responsibility she has as a mother. And also, if you are working as a travel agent and are traveling from time to time, then why do you need a condo in the first place, let alone one which costs you $5,000? $14,204.16 to be paid monthly at a, an amount of $200 that makes your total child support obligation set at well, I'm gonna make it $300 because $14,000 is a huge amount. So that makes your monthly child support obligation $694.56. I, I really, I got some bills that I can show you. I just can't afford that. And you know what? He has bills that he can show me as well and you have not done anything. And you're lucky that he cut you a break because I didn't have to let him do that. Is there anything further, Mr. Schaefer? That's all that I have. Do you have any other questions pertaining to this? I guess not, this? since I have to pay all this money. Okay, well, I guess you all are dismissed. Thank you. I guess this was a very satisfying and happy ending for the old man and for all the people who watched till the end, although I am still absolutely puzzled about the fact that how this woman was willing to sacrifice her kid for a condo, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching.